Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting Olympiad problem. It is x square minus x cube equal to 6 square. So this equation is cubic equation. We have to find out all three solutions. So let's find out how many are real and how many are complex value. So I will solve this question in two different easy ways. So let me begin this video by writing over there method number one first. And this method is using algebraic identities and factorization. So I will write our equation as x square minus x cube equal to 6 square is 36. Now I will split this 36 in the manner of cube and square summation. So let me write x square minus x cube. Can we write 36 as 27 plus 9? So yes, it is 36. And if I will write 27, then it is 3 cube. And if I will write 9, then it is 3 square. So major task is done. Left hand side we have a square and cube term. Right hand side we have cube term and a square term with addition sign. Now let us consider all the term to LHS. So I will write x square. Let's write 3 square here. Then I will be writing minus x cube. Let's write here 3 cube. And right hand side now will be 0. Now if you will see the difference of two squares formula, if you will see here, then there will be one formula. But once I will put over there bracket, then I have to consider here plus sign. Now this is sum of two cubes, difference of two squares. So let me write here the identity or formula first. So a square minus b square formula is a plus b in one bracket and a minus b in second bracket and sum of two cubes formula it will be a plus b in one bracket and in second bracket it is a square minus ab plus b square. Now sum of two cubes I will put here and difference of two squares I will put here. So let's apply. So let me write the equation in the next slide. I will be writing here x square minus 3 square. Then there is minus common. In bracket it is x cube plus 3 cube. And right hand side is 0. Now difference of 2 squares. So I will write x plus 3 and x minus 3 x plus 3 times x minus 3. Now a cube plus b cube. So x plus 3. In second bracket x square minus 3x plus 3 square which is 9 equal to 0. Now if you will see x plus 3 is common. So I will take this x plus 3 out x plus 3 in bracket it is left x minus 3 this term and this term is left with minus sign. So I will write minus x square minus 3x plus 9 equal to 0. Now let's simplify this bracket also the second one. So x plus 3, this bracket I will write x minus 3, expand with minus sign. So minus x square, minus times minus will become plus 3x, minus times 9. So I will write minus 9 equal to 0. Now you can see 3x plus x, 4x. So minus x square, 3x plus 1x, 4x. And then minus 3 and minus 9. So minus 12 equal to 0. This bracket is x plus 3 as it is. Now I will multiply this equation with minus 1. 
so x plus 3 will be as it is this bracket will change its sign so i will write x square minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0 f dot g equal to 0 that means f equal to 0 or x square minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Now we will be solving two equations x plus 3 equal to 0 and this quadratic equation x square minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Let's solve it. So first equation was x plus 3 equal to 0. From here we will be having x equal to minus 3 once we will add both sides minus 3. So first solution which is real in nature and it is negative. So x equal to minus 3. We will verify at last. Now second equation was quadratic. Let me write x square minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Let's solve using quadratic formula or Sridharachar formula. Minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So I will write here minus b. So minus of minus 4 plus minus under the root b square that means minus 4 is square minus 4 times a times c is 12 divided by 2 times a is 1. Then I will write 4 plus minus the square root of 16 minus 48 divided by 2. Further I can write 4 plus minus this is the square root of minus 32 divided by 2. 32 is 16 times 2. So 16 will come out from the square root as 4. So I will write 4 plus minus 4 root 2 with i because the square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. So ultimately we are having two complex valued solutions. So 2 root 2 times i. So here we are having two complex solution and one real solution. This is our method number one using identities. So now let us consider method number two. Method number two is using synthetic division method. I will consider our equation all the term to one side. So x cube minus x square plus 36 equal to 0. Now with the help of rational root theorem, we will find out eligible factors of constant coefficient 36. It would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, plus minus 4, plus minus 6, plus minus 9, plus minus 12, plus minus 18, and plus minus 36. And leading coefficient that is 1. So I will have only plus minus 1. So once I will take ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So I will get the same which I have written the factors of constant coefficient. These eligible solutions are there. So let me consider x equal to suppose I am writing 2. Is it possible? So 2 cube minus 2 square plus 36. So it is not matching 36 plus 8 is 44 and 2 square is only 4. So 40 will be there. So it is not giving RHS 0. If I will consider x is equal to 3, then it will be 8 minus 2 square is 4 plus 36. Solution won't be positive. So I will write here x is equal to minus 3 this time. So I have checked 2 and plus minus 3. Now minus 3 if I will put then minus 3 whole cube 
minus I will write minus 3 whole square plus 36 is this value equal to 0 so minus 27 minus 9 plus 36 yes it is equal to 0 so that means x equal to minus 3 is our base solution now we can utilize the concept of synthetic division method so base solution is ready so i will write the coefficients of this cubic equation so let me write 1 the coefficient of x square minus 1 the coefficient of x term 0 the coefficient of constant term 36 put one line over there this term as it is now take the product of base solution it is minus 3 with the first written term so 1 minus 3 times 1 minus 3 minus 4 add both the numbers so minus 4 same job minus 3 times minus 4 so plus 12 add both the numbers 12 minus 3 times 12 minus 36 0 so here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation so i will write x square minus 4x plus 12 equal to 0 and this quadratic equation we have just solved in the method number 1 so i will be writing our solution as two complex valued solutions so solution will be 2 plus minus i times 2 root 2 so two complex solution and one real solution x equal to minus 3 and 2 plus minus i times 2 square root 2 method number 2 now let's verify our real solution only so i will write here verification x equal to 3 negative 3 it is now i will write here minus 3 whole square minus minus 3 whole cube is this equal to 6 square so let us check minus 3 whole square it will be 9 minus of minus 3 whole cube it is minus 27 9 plus 27 so this value will be 36 which is equal to 6 square and this is our RHS that means what we have calculated x equal to minus 3 is true as per our verification i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care of yourself